Hello friends, hope you all are fine and having fun with your life. In today's course, I'm going to share GSM library for our portal. Yes, today I'm going to share the most awaited and most demanded Proteus library. Till now, I have received hundreds of suggestions and requests about this library and I have always told them that it's under designing process and I will post it real soon on our blog. So finally the wait is all and we have our new GSM library for Proteus ready to download and simulate in Proteus. Using this GSM library, now you can quite easily simulate your GSM module in Proteus and can test your code easily. This uh, GSM library is compatible with Arduino boards, with big microcontrollers, any kind of microcontroller which supports serial communication. Uh, as you can see on this blog, on this blog link, this link is given in the description of this YouTube video and when you click on that link you will come to this post. Here's our GSM library for Proteus. Okay, now in this library, first of all what you need to do is you need to click on this button, download GSM library and when you click it you will get to this pop-up and I'm gonna open it. It's a binary file and this file contains a folder GSM library for Proteus. This folder contains these three files GSM library tb.liv, .idx and .hex. Place all these three files. I am extracting them and extract them in the library folder of your Proteus software. So I am going to browse to C, Program Files, Lab Center, Proteus 7, and Library. I am going to click OK and it's asking me for file replace because I already have this file in, in that folder. So I am going to simply click on Yes to All. And I'm gonna close it. Now I have downloaded the GSM library for Proteus, and uh, now I'm gonna start my Proteus software. So while it's starting, you can also have a quick look on these other Proteus libraries, which includes Arduino library and uh, Arduino library for Proteus, Genino library, GPS library, XP library. Ultrasonic sensor library, PAYAN library, and Bluetooth library. Well, now we come back to our GSM library. Now, in your component, you need to search for SIM900B. I have many of these testing boards, but the our main boards are. You will get only three results. You you won't get these three results because these are like testing boards. So you will get these three results, SIM900D, SIM900D green and SIM900D red. Okay, I'm closing it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place all of them in my workspace and uh, I need to increase the sheet size. I'm making it 10. Okay. And uh, here we go. So, this GSM library for Proteus contains these three boards. These three boards are all GSM modules and their model is SIM900D. They all are using SIM900D. And they all are same having two pins TX and RX to control them. And they all work on AT command. And uh, they are only differ in color. This is our, you can say, theme color, or uh, dark blue type color, and this one is green color, and this one red. So we have these three modules in this library, GSM library for Proteus, and they all are SIM 900D module. So now you have placed, uh, you have seen all these boards. Now I'm deleting the last two, and I'm gonna test. Uh, this module. So next thing you need to do is you need to double click it and here's our GSM module SIM 980, here's our URL, our website link and now I'm gonna browse for 
so it is seven professional library and if you remember we have placed gsm library tv.x we downloaded this file uh, this file uh, we downloaded this file in the area and uh, uh, from this link we have downloaded it from this link and now we have uploaded it in the sim 900 module gsm library db.x i'm gonna click open and it's added here in the program file section this hex file is actually adding the functionality in this gsm module so i'm gonna click ok and now my gsm module is ready and now you can simulate it with any microcontroller today i'm not gonna use it with any microcontroller uh, instead i'm gonna send it commands via virtual terminal so i'm gonna select virtual terminal let me zoom it a little uh, it's fine now so i'm gonna connect rx to tx and tx to rx now i'm gonna simulate it and you can see we have our virtual terminal now in this tutorial i'm gonna connect my gsm module with virtual terminal it's similar like uh, you have some sim 900 module and you connect its tsrx screen to your computer via max 232 circuit and when you connect it to your computer and then you start any virtual terminal or serial terminal program on your computer and send 80 commands directly to your gsm module here i am doing it in simulation means i have connected my gsm module and I have connected it with the virtual terminal directly and now when I send commands on this virtual terminal it will be received by the sim 900D module and then it will reply me back uh, which it normally does is AT so I am gonna enter AT and press enter and it has replied me back OK then let's say I wanna send any other command let me check it here These are different commands which I have tested. Let me send AT plus CPIN question mark. So when I use this command AT plus CPIN question mark, then it will reply me plus CPIN ready means our module is ready. And uh, then let me send uh, any other commands ATA, ATH. AT plus CLIP AT plus CLIP Okay ATA ATH So what I am doing is I am sending these commands These AT commands From my virtual terminal To GSM module And it is replying me back With OK For each command it is replying OK For AT plus uh, for all other commands, it's replying OK, but for AT plus CPIN question mark, it's re it has replied plus CPIN ready. So there are many other commands which you can check in this uh, image. Like if I send AT plus COPS question mark, then it will reply me the, uh, the, uh, this. Uh, it will give me this reply. And uh, uh, if I want to check my number, like what's the SIM number? Uh, which sim I am using in this JSM module then I have to use this AT plus C and UM command and as we all know that I am not using any actual sim card in this module so that's why I have added AT plus uh, I forgot the command AT plus uh, C and UM UM and when I enter it it gives me this command and uh, as i am not using any sim card or uh, any real sim card so that's why i have added my number in it this number will remain the same it won't change because we are not using any real sim here but like you want to extract number then you can simply uh, write your code in arduino and then can get the number from here uh, in simulation it will give you this number but when you test it on real hardware then it will give you your number uh, i hope you have understood what i am trying to explain 
anyways if you have any questions then post in uh, comment section and i will try to reply uh, right now this uh, gsm library is in initial phases uh, currently it supports all these 80 commands you can see these are around uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, around 20, 25 commands. But right now, our JSM module, uh, which is in 900D, supports all these 80 commands. It uh, won't be able to send SMS or receive SMS, but uh, I'm working on it, uh, on it on JSM module, and hopefully, within a week, I will update this library and I will add the new library files in it using which you can easily simulate your gsm module uh, you can easily uh, not only simulate but can also send message and receive message using this sim 900d module right now i'm working on the sending part and uh, hopefully within a week i will complete it and will update it so stay tuned and also subscribe to our channel on youtube and like our post subscribe us via email so that you get these exciting tutorials straight to your inbox thanks for watching take care bye bye